Hey guys, it's Jess here, and today we're going to be playing this very short, cute game called From Head to Toe. It was free to play on Steam. I was going to play Nightcore. I played 10 minutes of it, 10 minutes of it, and it was so boring. So uh, I just quit that, and then I was looking on Steam and found this. So I uh, just wanted to check it out. It had pretty good reviews. So here we go. Ready to go yet? Uh huh. So apparently, this is a um, game about high school. I love snow. <laughs> I know you do. It's very soft today, but wet so you can make snowmen. That's the best kind. Make a snowball by holding... Throw the throw by holding and swinging the mouse to the right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Did you get it out of your system? Yes. I'm done. Sorry. That's alright. You probably deserved it. I wonder if a couple, like a guy and girl couple, made this game. Apparently, this is just like um, this whole game is just meant to be like a walk, walk home, and it's meant to be romance, I believe. Is it? My hands are chilly. Would you like me to hold them? Yes, please. Smooth. Quentin. Yay. Ah, you're always so warm. You're like a human heater. How do you do that? I don't make as many snowballs, I guess. Warm hands. I feel warmer now. Thank you. You are always welcome. Cute. So I wonder if they're already girlfriend boyfriend or Quentin? Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? You know, or leaving? No, of course not. Really? You had to. Anybody would if they got into a school like yours. I'd leave too if I could. No, you wouldn't. Oh, I would, young lady. So fast you get dizzy. <laughs> Since when do you call me a young lady? You're like a year older than I am. And a year wiser, don't you forget it. Oh, sure you are. Sounds like they're... They grew up together. And... It's during those college days where... Somebody should fix this clock. Yeah. Do you know away. what time it is, by the way? Not a clue. Me neither. Sounds like she's moving away. Oh, it's like kind of bittersweet, isn't it? Because they like each other, right? Do you hear how quiet it is? Hey, yo! Shh, shut up! We'll get in trouble! It's okay, nobody cares. Remember how we used to walk down this way late after the rehearsals? Yeah. It's just like that now. Everybody's at home sleeping or watching TV. And the whole street belongs to us. I used to love that feeling. Are you okay? Like a walk down memory lane, so... I think everyone's had 
Are you okay? Conversations in their life. Yeah, um, just can't believe our swings are still here. It's been, what, seven, eight years? Something like that. They must be a hazard by now. Want to swing? You bet I do. These late night conversations are the best day. The mood, one on one. Used to happen a lot during high school. You know how sometimes a memory pops up, but it doesn't actually make you feel that much. Like, there's an emotional filter your mind puts on it. I think so. You mean like when you bring up something from your past, but it feels like it happened to somebody else? Yeah. It's probably not such a bad thing when you think about it. Otherwise, everyone would be in tears every half an hour. Maybe. But... I think it can also stop you from making sense of something. One day, you just have a dream about it, or remember this tiny detail. A feeling you had for a moment. Just the way a touch felt on your skin, or how a wrinkle looked on somebody's face. And... it just... punches you. Right in the gut covers you from head to toe, and all you can do is just gasp for air and let it absorb you till you can move again. Whoa. <laughs> is that what happened when you saw the swings? Almost. I mean, of course I remembered them, but when I actually saw them with the rust and the tilt, you know? Yeah. They are not very good swings, are they? No, 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 they're not. That was a real intense description. Just Should we now. get going? Yeah, let's head out. So it sounds like so she was away from the town I wanted to ask you something. For seven, eight years. What's that? Do you remember when I first kissed you here? Do I remember? It was my first kiss, what do you think? Well, was I... Was it any good? It was like magic. Snow was falling, just like tonight. And your eyes sparkled. You have such pretty eyes, you know? Look who's talking. It was freezing but I didn't feel it because I was so scared and excited and my heart was pounding and I felt so so happy I didn't know it meant so much for you it was really special for me too I was so nervous was it your first kiss? first worth mentioning that's a good answer so tell me how is everyone else now? Well, who would you like to know about? Mary Robel. What about Mary? Oh, Mary. She still lives in town, married, two children. Two already? Yes, imagine that. She's an investment banker now. Yeah. Not playing trombone anymore? Good money. Maybe in her spare time. How's Simon? Oh, Simon teaches physics in the 8th grade now. What? In our school? Yep. No way! Seriously? And they call him, what, Mr. Thompson? Probably, yeah. And they don't know that he once drank a full cup of ketchup and threw up in the middle of a chemistry class? <laughs> he did do that. I completely forgot. No, they probably don't. Eric tell me about Eric. Eric. There is not too much to tell. I think he lives in his mum's basement and works part-time at a liquor store. He did always want to work at a liquor store. 
Yeah, living the dream. Very ambitious. <laughs> So they used to be lovers, but guess we're close, not aren't we? Anymore. But they're probably yep, still almost single. there. Still single, and maybe they might get together if it's meant to be. That's my house. I remember. Did you just check if my parents are watching us through the window? I guess I did. Yeah, old habits and stuff. You shouldn't be worried about that anymore. We're grown-ups now. We can do whatever we want. Keep telling yourself that. Well, here we are. Here we are. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Get in there. This is where I would normally kiss you. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. And I would feel light and calm and forget about all the stupid little problems I had. It felt so good to walk you home again. Get in there, mate. I feel just like I used to. I'm happy. I am so happy right now. Me too. Can I ask you for a favor? Sure, what is it? Last time, I said goodbye too quickly. I didn't realize how much I'm going to miss you. I always regretted it. Can I just... hold you for a while? Why does it have to be so complicated? Just get together. Take all the time you need. Really now? Just get together, guys. Oh, wait, is it? It's gonna gonna. <gasps> Why is it all fuzzy? Okay, I thought the music was turning all scary and stuff. I thought it's gonna be like a sudden change of events. That was short and sweet. Okay. Kinda... Left the ending open for you, for your own imagination, eh? Hmm. It reminds me of this movie called... Um... What is it? It was on Netflix. And it was like this couple, they knew each other since childhood growing up as neighbours. And then they went through school together, college, but there were times where they were, it's like they were meant to be together, but they things just kept popping up and they couldn't. And then eventually when they were older, where she had like a kid, maybe like in their 30s and 40s, they finally got together in the end. I forgot the name, but if I remember, I'll comment down the, a comment below on, on the video. But yeah, um, thanks very much for watching.